Today I am working on a adaption to this big heater. Now this big heater uses that uh, U.S. stove, I don't know whatever brand it is, um, barrel stove door kits, as you can see right there. And it also uses the same thing. And you can do the same thing here. And I'll probably do a little pause here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, you can do the same thing here with a 100-pound tank. So what you want to do with your 100-pound tank, and I will be showing you this video pretty soon, is you want to remove your valve off of it. So this is the valve that's on your 100-pound tanks. They're pretty simple. They're not OPD. And you want to remove that valve. And those stove barrel kits will work on these tanks. I know it's only about 16 inches wide. However, by, use, by filling it full of water, cutting your holes, you will cut this tank. You'll be able to take it and reach in there and, you know, rinse it out real good. Keep it from uh, having a detonation effect because the permeation of propane in this metal, it, it, it can still cause a detonation in this tank. And that's a bad explosion you don't want from sparks from cutting on it. So you'll be using two inch angle iron and then another piece of two inch angle iron inverted. And then you can mount your door. We're going to go to that and show you how to mount that exhaust collar onto the tank and they mount very well so it's not hard to do now let's get back to this other tank and i'm going to show you what i'm doing with it back to this tank here um we're taking a standard four and a half inch saw and i'm cutting a four inch hole in it a little over four inch because this exhaust pipe is four inch id and this is aluminized uh three thirty seconds thick uh got it from i'll put the link on here where i got this from very good exhaust pipe and when you see this you'll understand it can handle the temperature and wrapping a piece of this metal very high temperature metal around it and putting some banding wire around it will allow the heat to come up heat the metal okay now that i've cut in one side i'm going to be going over to the other side and cutting it directly across from itself so it's centered in the middle of the stove and we'll get that we'll get the pipe in there next all right now we have a pipe going all the way through the whole unit all right process now is we're going to go ahead and get this welded and I spot welded it there so that we can get the rest of our project finished all right now we've got the pipe put in I haven't cleaned it up but on the other end is a fan now, what I've got on this fan, and I haven't secured it off yet, the wiring, is I have a pair of temperature senders, or I guess you'd call them a, a, a pair of click discs. And one is 123 degrees, and this one over here, in case I want to use it uh, later, is 130 degrees. One is ceramic, one is not. Um, if the... Uh, if I don't like the outcome of it, I will remove that, but it is currently all put together and pardon the welding job. I've got uh, some of that soot from inside here was kind of bleeding out into my weld, so I just literally just fed it to it. But the fan is mounted and it's just two pieces of, of carriage bolts. And uh, when you heat it up, I'll show you here, you take a torch and heat the side of this up over here and you can watch the fan kick on heating the metal right there so you can see right there I heat the metal right up in here so the heat track uh, hits that switch and that switch kicks on so whenever I leave and I set my rundown timer on my blower that's where my main air comes in It'll run for about 15 minutes, but this will continue to scavenge heat as long as there's heat in this. So, all right. The last step is putting this pipe in. Hear it? And shooting in a screw so that it don't move around on me. Now, it will do its job to scavenge the heat. There we go. And my air output, very high actually, it's blowing real hard. 
that there it went and it just turned off. So now it's turning off now. Not too bad. All right, let's see how she works. Time to fire her up. Okay. Fired up and running. You might be able to see that pipe up there. And you see the flame is just looking at that pipe. So there she is. Oil burner extraordinaire. See how long it takes for that fan to kick on. Shouldn't take long. Next thing to do is secure all my wires off. There she goes. On her own. Oh, that thing was running for about, whoo, that's hot. <laughs> you gotta love that. That's hot. Fresh smell of weld too. Yeah, I gotta grind that down. A little rough looking. That's what happens when that soot from the oil bleeds out into your weld. But what the hell. All right, guys, not a bad setup. Blowing it through. Getting every ounce of heat out of your unit. Build your one, under 200 bucks, you can get one, build one yourself.